This running shoe is made from beans. It's the world's first fully recyclable running shoe and it's only available for purchase via subscription. This is the On Cyclone Cloud Deal. What's going on everyone? I'm Jeremy Try, and today I'm going to give you an overview of the On Cyclone Cloud Neo running shoe and my first impressions on it after a test 5k run in them. So if you haven't noticed, the Swiss company On is one of the biggest running brands in the world today. Cyclone is the name of their program that creates 100% fully recyclable running products and the Cloud Neo running shoe is the first product of the Cyclone program. So the way it works is you subscribe to this shoe, run in it, and when it wears out, return it to on using the same bag that it came in. This is the bag cyclone right there. After sending it back, on will then recycle the shoe and use the recycled materials to create new cyclone products. We'll get more into the materials used for the shoe a little later in the video. First, here are the basic specs. This is a neutral support shoe with a heel toe drop of nine millimeters. It weighs approximately 255 grams, AKA about 8.99 ounces. The weight could be a little more or less than this, depending on your shoe size, of course. This is on's lightest shoe so far. At the moment, you can only buy Buy this via subscription at $29.99 US dollars per month. On recommends using the shoe for around 600 kilometers, aka 372.8 miles, or for about six months before returning the shoe to be recycled. One of On's biggest selling points of the shoe is that it's 100% recyclable. One cool thing I learned while researching this is that most running shoes, they aren't entirely recyclable. There's a process to strip and pick different parts of the shoe that can be recycled, but with On's Cloud Neo, you can recycle every single part of it. As for the looks, the color of the shoe comes from an undyed recyclable bio-based yarn. On the photos from the website, the shoe looks mostly white with some beige on the sole. Uh, and looking at these in person, I'd say that the color is pretty accurate from the photos. I think the shoe looks pretty sleek. The upper is a single unit upper. Everything on the upper, even the laces, are made from 100% bio-based yarn. But what the heck really does bio-based yarn really mean? Well, according to their website, this yarn is derived from castor beans in a complex process. But basically, castor oil is extracted from the beans, which is then used to create a special kind of polyamide fabric called PA11. Pretty much, it was really hard for them to create this bio-based yarn, which makes up the upper, which also has different zones to maximize breathability. So the tongue on the shoe is almost non-existent. It's a super thin piece of fabric uh, with the slightest amount of cushion. The laces feel pretty solid and they feel actually pretty durable to me. The heel color does have some cushioning around it. As for the heel tab, it kind of tapers outward you could see it there. Not sure if that's for looks or if that's maybe to help, you know, when slipping on or off your shoe, you could like kind of grab it from here. Or maybe there's some performance benefits to having it taper towards the top. I'm not really sure, but I thought that was pretty interesting. So the heel counter, it's not as super stiff as my, these are 2019 cloud flows. This thing is like a rock solid over here. Uh, this heel counter isn't that tough. It's not as thin as the heel tongue, but there is some stiffness over here, especially towards the, especially towards the top. There's some stiffness over there to provide some support. The bottom unit of the shoe is made from p -backs. The foam in this shoe is their most lightweight foam yet, and apparently it has a better rebound rate than their Helion Super Foam, which is found in several other shoes. So the outsole uses a re-engineered version of their Cloud Tech system, which for those who don't know, Cloud Tech is their sole cushioning design system on the bottom of the shoe. So with these old Cloud Flows, this is the Cloud Tech system or the cloud tech design. Oh, there's a little uh, rock thing <laughs> wedge in there, which was pretty common for the, the early versions of the shoes. But yeah, this is the cloud tech system um, over here. And the Cloud Neos have a re-engineered or a redesigned version of Cloud Tech as well on the bottom. The midsole consists of two layers with On's speedboard sandwiched right between them. You can actually see the speedboard there and it says speedboard <laughs> in small text. And yes, the speedboard has been redesigned as well using all bio-based materials and is 100% recyclable too. As for the fit, I'd say it's true to size for me. I'm normally a 10.5 in running shoes. I wore a size 10 and a half. 
in my cloud flows and i'd say 10 and a half was the right size for me in the cloud neos when i first put on the shoe its lightness was the first thing that really stood out to me i did feel like my foot was snug all the way through the shoe has minimal cushioning all around the shoe and you can definitely feel the lack of cushion when you first put it on the toe box felt pretty roomy to me my foot is just a little bit wide and it didn't feel restricted right up here you can see compared to my cloud flows the cloud neos have just a little bit bigger of a toe box for the midfoot my foot was nice and snug in the middle and in the heel area it felt pretty snug when i first put it on but when i went for my run it was a different story so how did this perform on my first run i did a moderate 5k here in the south florida heat so here are some initial pros and cons all right so for the pros i like how lightweight it is it just makes you want to go fast with how light it feels on your feet i also like the raw like design towards the front of the shoe right here by the toes i feel like it really helped with the toe off motion and helped propel me forward into the next step it also looks really cool i really like the white color and i think that overall it's a really sleek shoe design for the cons number one i would say the cushioning unfortunately while running, it actually felt quite stiff underneath my foot. Like I know there are two layers of cushioning with the speed board right in between them, but I didn't really feel the cushion while running that they advertise on the shoe's website. I mean, just putting on the Cloud Flows from 2019 on one foot and the Cloud Neo on the other, I felt more cushion underneath my foot with the Cloud Flows. Now, maybe the lack of cushioning that I feel isn't a true con. Maybe I just need to break in the shoe more. I'm also coming from running in Kinvaras, which have not too much cushion, but in my opinion, the kind of perfect amount of cushion for me at least. Or maybe I just have to think of this shoe as more a faster paced shoe for like speed runs rather than a daily trainer or for long distance. Only time will tell, but let me know what you all think. For the second con, it would be the heel area. So after running for about 30 seconds, I had some slippage in the heel area. I stopped to tie my shoes even tighter than I normally do and it helps secure the heel however after about halfway during my run my heel started slipping away from the shoes heel counter a little bit again and the heel collar actually didn't feel too secure as well uh, I think just that whole area became loose and when I would step onto like banked surfaces my ankle would kind of like give into the heel heel collar area so didn't feel too secure although I had laced them up pretty tightly now again this might not be a con with the shoe it could just be me maybe i need to tie the laces in a different way to secure the heel area more but i tied them the same way i've always tied all of my shoes and still ran into this issue as for the subscription at the time of filming this video you can cancel within 30 days and get a refund if the shoes are in excellent condition there's a six month minimum for the subscription and after paying for six months you can then cancel with no charges in six months at 29.99 us dollars per month you'll spend about 180 dollars for the shoe which is definitely getting into the more expensive range of performance running shoes out of the six months i got two months free because i was an early supporter of the project which means in six months i'll have spent about 120 dollars on the shoe which is more on par with the prices of some of the more performance running shoes that i've been buying recently and this is another reason why i felt like trying out the subscription was worth it after my first six months are over then i'll reassess whether i want to continue or to cancel my subscription so who's this shoe for you know it's really hard to say who this shoe is for when i've only ran in it for 5k but as an early prediction i think this would be best for runners who run a lot who wear down their running shoes more often than others because you can always re-up new shoes with your subscription I think this is for runners who don't need a lot of cushion in their shoes and for runners who want to have another speed day slash fast shoe in their rotation. This might not be the shoe for you if you're tight on money and or you don't want another subscription in your life. Um, this might not be for you if you don't run too often or if you like having a lot of cushion in your shoes. I'm not a running shoe expert and these were just my initial thoughts on the Cloud Neos. So let me know in the comments what you all think about the shoe. What do you think about its recyclability? What do you think about the subscription or really anything else about it? So overall, my first impressions of the On Cyclone Cloud Cloud Neo are, I think it's a pretty cool shoe. It's lightweight, feels fast, looks sleek, and I applaud and appreciate On's venture at making running products more sustainable. The sole cushioning felt stiffer than I expected in my first run, and I still have to play with the lacing to get my foot more snug in the heel area. So I'll do another video reviewing the Cloud Neo after maybe about 40 or 50 miles. I also make videos about my swim, bike, run, triathlon adventures. So if you're interested in any of that, please consider subscribing. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did. 
excited. Stay safe out there. Happy training. And I'll see you in the next one.